Okay, welcome back to Football Manager 2023 and our save with Idrotsvoreningen Bromopoikina. Uh, we are right at the end of our first season. Well, technically it's like the second season of the Swedish League, um, but, but we are in our first season. We took over in February. Uh, we have four games left. I think this was the last game we did in the last episode. I think it was. Or did, <laughs> I can't remember if we did this one on screen, but we absolutely demolished Trollhattan, um, which is right, like, it's something that we can do, and then somehow nearly lost to Utsikens. Uh We required a 97th minute goal from Leech Holm to get back into that one. Then just had an obscene cup game <laughs> with Eskilstuna, um, where I started my entire backup team which I don't even have a backup striker, so Al-Hassan Adamu played up top. Um, but I brought on subs at halftime. To be honest, it was just a ridiculous game. They scored a winner in the 88th minute. It was 6-5. Um, nobody seemed that mad about it, which is fine. I'm not too bothered about the Svenska Kuppen. Uh, we drew 2-2 with Sandvikens, which again, not a great result. Uh, we beat Osters 3-0. We lost 2-1 to Vesteras. Again, not a great result. And then we beat Jonkopings. Sodra, I have no idea. I don't, I don't speak Swedish. I'm sorry. We beat them 3-0. So we have four matches left on the season. We are top of the league, and I think we have a 10-point cushion. We do have a 10-point cushion. We would really have to mess this up to lose from here. Um, regardless, we are promoted, guaranteed. Actually, no, I guess not. <laughs> I guess if Degers Force, who must be on a great run, they've come from nowhere. Oh, yeah, wow, they have... Since we beat them 2-1 in July, they've won almost every game with three draws. Wow, they are out of nowhere, made a run, and they're probably going to get promoted. Can they overtake? Oh, they have overtaken Landskron. Oh, my God. What happened to Aura, bro? Oh, my God. This is so close. Wow, this is... <laughs> this race is exciting. Uh, not for me. I mean, we've won it. Um, but second is automatic promotion, and there's only three points separating. Oh, but Lance Corona have a game in hand, okay. So, there's a lot to play for, um, because second and third are both up for grabs right now. Um, we, we've sort of coasted to the league. We've had some bad losses, but at no point did I really feel like we were not going to win it. We probably won't go too in-depth with the matches, just because we will hopefully win the league in the first one. Yeah, it was, it was a good season. We've done very well. Okay, we've got a few injuries. Abramson came back and he got injured again. So, uh, Nissan and Krusnil are in the middle and dies on the left, Bergval on the right. Um, did, did that even happen in an episode? Yalassi's out for like four months or something. Um, I can't remember if that happened in an episode or if it happened off screen. Um, Sandberg, Mag Sandberg, Magnuson, and Bergval in the center. Pedersen on the right, Kosic on the left, Leach home through the middle, and Triori up front. That's kind of our regular front four, regular middle two. Backline's a bit weird, but. Uh, we should be good. I mean, we just need a draw. Do we just need a draw? 61? No, it doesn't guarantee it. A win guarantees us the league, so let's just go for that. Okay, free kick Kosic. For a good start. It's going top corner, I can feel it. Ooh, good save. Um, we... It's exciting that we're this good because we're going to bring in... I don't know that Nwosu is going to be, like, immediately ready to be a good keeper in the top division but just because he's young and he's five star potential i'm probably going to immediately start him in the top division also sadie really should be scoring that oh i do need to show you the youth intake because they finally came through and showed us and none of them amazing whoa sadie's at the back post okay i mean chris Nill's corners from that side going to the back post have just been absolutely deadly i don't know why neither of our center back Oh, do you know what? <laughs> the left centre-back is supposed to be there, but because Krusnel is playing left centre-back, he can't be there. Here's our short corner. Okay, let me... Oh, no, it's not a short corner. Why is someone coming short for one of our not short corners? Who cares? Krusnel is absolutely killing it this game. Um, None of them, like, look absolutely amazing, but they're mostly, like, 15 and 16, so... Um, I assume they're going to come good because two of them have five star potential and three or four of them have like four and a half star. So we should get at least like one gem out of that youth intake. Uh, and Bromopoikina are just, 
They're just killing it. Gosic on a deep free kick, whips it into Nissan. Nissan seven goals this season for an, he's 18 now. He started, he was 17 at the start of the season. 18 year old center back, he scored seven goals. We are deadly on set pieces. I, which is weird because I, I've played a good chunk of this game. Like I'm four years into a save with Bath. And I feel like I've scored like no corners and very few free kicks, but we seem just absolutely deadly from set pieces. Another utter domination in the first half. It really does seem like we're <laughs> just like one of two sides. Either we come out and just demolish them immediately or we're just kind of awful. Um, there's not really much of a middle ground with us. Although the, the awful performances tend to be just finishing. Like we usually create a bunch of chances. It's just a matter of whether or not our players are willing to finish them. Nissen to Bergvall. Chip to uh, Kruger intercepts. Patterson gets it back. Back to Bergvall. That's Theo to Patterson. I should really start calling them by their first name because the both of them are playing quite often now. Kosic gets it out on the left. Back to Indai. Into Kosic. It's tackled though, okay. It's all the way back to Nissen, who makes a terrible header, to be honest. Um, I think he's the best player in the division, but that's not, that's not going to get him anything good. Uh, Frojd. <laughs> Not entirely sure how to say that. Leech Holm, oh, just gets there ahead of him. Can he play it through? Is he gonna play it through? He does play it through, around the keeper. Doesn't need to go around the keeper. Sadu Traore was probably offside. Mm. No, no, he's good. Okay, four nil. Um, Sadu Traore, I mean, it's been the perfect signing. It's the exact signing that I wanted. I even trained him to try to beat the offside trap, which just plays perfectly into the tactic that we play, which is basically get an attacking forward to <laughs> just try and run past the defense and try and not be offside. He's good at finishing, which honestly, that wasn't even necessary. I mostly just needed somebody who was going to get chances. Oh, I don't think I showed you Hamza Ackman. I mean, I did show Hamza Ackman in the last episode, but we didn't actually know what he was going to be like. Um, as it turns out, pretty good. Come on, me too. <sighs> not very good. Um, Hamza Ackman, I can't check him easily from here, but if we go to here, oh, no, we've got another chance. Kosic, whoops it in, back post Nissen, doesn't score that time. Uh, let's go to us, somehow, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> can we break from highlights long enough for me to click on one of my players? Uh, Blakena, squad, where is he? Uh, we've got a bunch of youth players in on loan right now who've been released. Uh, why can I not see him? Hamza Ak... Oh, because he's up here. Um, yeah, he's good. He's a good player. He, a good replacement for Odafalk, I think. Uh, only in on loan, and we're almost certainly not going to get him permanently, but just as a stopgap until the end of the season, I've been pretty happy with him. Okay, Violet. I think that Bellman to Kalpi. Great ball in. Oof. Again, we can't defend, but do you need to be able to defend? We've already broken, we broke the goal record for the Swedish second division like four games ago. It, it's been <laughs> several games since we broke the record and we're outscoring four. I think we scored five in a game since we broke it. Like we're, we've, we've absolutely blown it away. I think we're probably gonna outscore it by 10 or more. So guard over the top to Sadu. Oof, he's had a few hat-tricks this season. I think he's on one in this game, is he? Uh, I mean, we don't want to concede again there. That would be quite bad. Frojd into Ulstrom. Intercepted by, well, kind of intercepted by Alhazan. Frey to Neeson to Krusnel. Can we get one more? Kosic. And he's way offside. <laughs> I think even he knew he was offside there. He sort of half made the run and was then like, there's not really any point. I mean, that's a bit embarrassing. Me too. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that is not great. Who's the left centre back here? Whoever is supposed to be next to this. Okay, who who are both of you? Nissen and... Not me too. Frey. Jesus. Lads, would somebody try and win the ball? Everyone certainly gets their money's worth at our games. I mean, you can't you can't say they don't. Again, another game where we should have won much more comfortably than we did, but 
We won 4-3. <laughs> a win is a win. And I believe that is the league title. Um, but I will tell them it was a real Jekyll and Hyde. But no, I'm going to tell them congratulations because we're champions, even though that was a bit of a disaster. So just to confirm, we are 10 points clear with three games to go. Dagger Fours get the win, which is huge. And Landscoping lose, do they? Who did Landscoping play? Sorry, <laughs> I'm mixing up two teams. I'm mixing up John Copings and Landscrona. Landscrona drew with Vasterus, who were also in the mix. Oh, this is going to be really close. So Landskrona are three, but well, they have a game in hand. So this team goes into a playoff with the team that finishes third from bottom in the division above. And we both go up automatically. So there's a lot to play for. Okay, I mean, I was hoping for a bit more in terms of transfer budget. Just because we had 300,000 at the start of this season. And I've already got 90,000. You're just not... I mean, they've doubled my wage budget, which is both nice, but also kind of required because like half the players in the squad have promotion wage rises, which is going to chalk this probably up to like nearly 30,000 immediately. Um, but I mean, that's nice. I, I would have liked some money for transfers because we're probably going to need it. Like we will need to improve at least a little bit if we want to immediately start challenging for Europe and maybe even winning the league. Okay, I mean, that's kind of fantastic. We only got two players in the team of the month, but it's the Bergball brothers, which is just kind of wholesome, to be honest. They're 18, and is Lucas 18 yet? 18 and 17 in the team of the month. Lucas is coming on a lot. He's so good. Him and... Th we have so many good young players, it's kind of obscene. Like, yes, I signed Seydou Traore, but... Like, Traore, Bergval. <laughs> All these players in on loan. Um, Amaroa is not great yet, but Indai is really good. Uh, Adamu is... Okay, wait, where, 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 where's Nissen? Oh, Nissen, Bergval, Sedu Traore, the other Bergval, Indai. These are all 19 and younger. And Omaroa looks like he's going to be good. Maybe not great, but he, I, <laughs> he has a fun little positional tree, which is nice. We just, we're going to be class. We just need to develop these players. Oh, I will show you the development center. So these are our, uh, this is, this guy's actually not from, he's actually, we just have like loads of good young players there in general. Um, how can I see the players that just came through? Uh, Ka Camaro was one of them. He's five star potential, one and a half stars already. Just looks really good, eight pounds a week. <laughs> uh, Galander was one of them, I think. Again, fast. I mean, we need a trainer to play right wing, probably, because right midfield isn't much use to us, but 19 determination, that's probably good. He's driven, either footed. Those are all good at age 15. Um, 14 technique. Three flare, that's an odd combination. To be so technically gifted, but also just no flare at all. Hmm. Those two often go hand in hand. That's quite weird. Um, but he's going to be really good, probably. We just have a great team. So many good young players. Give us a few years. We're, we'll be winning the Champions League. <laughs> Finally, after getting the team promoted, I have good managerial support. It's the first time this has been in the positive. That is nice to see. Also, Hamza, you're not playing in a weak position. You're playing in the right position. You just want to be an enganch for some reason which we're not going to do with you. You're fine as an attacking midfielder. That's what we play. You're okay to do that. So, <laughs> uh, Frederick Nissen is up to win Swedish First Division Elite Young Player of the Year, which he should just be up for Player of the Year because he's been, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yet the best player in the league. Um, but he's up for it with Oscar Patterson, who plays for us, Seydou Traore, who plays for us, Lucas Bergval, who plays for us, and Camille Jabara, who we might have to buy. <laughs> no, um, I'm just shocked that it's not a fifth of one of our players, to be honest. Well, here is everybody else's chance. We pay Landskrona. If we can get the win here, everyone else has a chance to catch up with them. And there is a lot of teams piling up behind them. And we're quite good at winning, so... 
we've already won the league. It'll be interesting to see if our players are motivated to go out and beat them. They're probably playing us at the best time possible, which is... We don't need to do anything. We've already won the league. So... They, they really need to take advantage of that. Okay. <laughs> there wasn't a highlight in the first half. Uh, we had 12 shots, but apparently none of them were worthy of a highlight. So, completely dominated the first half, but didn't get a goal out of it. So, Lance Krona can count themselves lucky. Hey, a highlight after 51 minutes. Gosic to Indai. Infield to Krusno. Who plays it back to Nissen. Nissen can take the ball forward, but he'll just boost it out wide to Pedersen, who will get there. Cuts inside, runs into the box. Will he pass it? Will he shoot? He's going to kick it over the bar. Take your points. Okay, the Oberg ball into Pedersen. Crosses to kind of nobody, but that's just because there was not really anybody but Kosic in there. Krusnel back to Indai, to Sandberg Magnussen, to Krusnel. Chips it over the top to Kosic. Takes it down nicely. Over the bar. Another point. Kosic on the free kick. Oh! <laughs> that seemed to bounce so softly off the post. Okay, I mean... They're getting pretty close here. It does feel like they are going to be able to count themselves lucky because I think we've had seven shots on target and they've had none. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, oh, you almost feel bad for them. Is that offside? No, we're good. That will be decisive. Um, that's going to play a big part in the promotion race. They held out for a long time without being in this game at all. Oh, the left back was playing him on side. That's pretty poor from the left back there. Seydoux gets his goal. Customary. I think he's up to, he's getting close to 30 now. Just an insane season from him. Yep, yeah, final tally, 25 shots, 8 on target, to 4 shots, none on target. I think we were probably good value for that win. <laughs> they, they did not do a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so close. So we've got Dagger Force 1, and so did Orebro, I guess. Yeah, they'd be Trollhetten, so uh, Vesterus are kind of out of it now. I think they've just lost back-to-back. -back. Uh, no, even, maybe not. They just didn't play. Uh, they had a game. They don't pl played an extra game already, so Helsingborgs could get in if they win their last two games. Um, the interesting thing here is, do these guys play any of the others? Do they play each other? No, they have two easy games though. I think Sandvikens and Trollhetten are two of the worst teams in the league. Uh, Trollhetten and Sandvik, yeah, so Helsingborgs actually have two easy games. They're going to want these lot playing each other. Uh, no, they also have two other teams. So do <laughs> the ideal scenario for Landskrona and Helsingborgs is that these two have to play each other. Do they still have... Uh, no, they don't. Okay. So none of them play each other, interestingly. Um, and do I play any of them? It almost seems impossible that none of us would be playing each other. But I don't think I have either of those teams. No, I don't. There's only 16 teams in this division. How, how has that worked out? But okay. <laughs> so it's just up to everyone doing well in their games. Okay. Literally 24 hours have passed since <laughs> the last clip. So... I don't, if I said that I was going to play someone or I was going to show you something, I have forgotten. Uh, we've got a fairly general team here. We just have Bergfall in for, I was about to say Maripu. Um, Yolasi, God, that name just left my head entirely. Um, who's still, I don't know, I've probably told you already what happened to him. His knee, his ankle, his spine, something went wrong. Um, other than that, pretty classic team. It, it feels weird to have Krusnel on the bench, but Ndai is really good. Even though Crystal has Crystal's never let us down, so I don't know. It feels weird, but um, pretty general team for us. Most of the interest for us at this point is coming from <laughs> what's going on below us in the table, like who's going to come up with us. Uh, that is like mostly what I'm focusing on, but it's always nice to win. The last two teams we play won't really have any. Oh, that was embarrassing. Uh, Seidu, 30 goals on the season, insanely good signing. He's going to obviously still be our starting striker next time. My hope is really that the team is not going to change too much. As I'd say in the summer window, it's not summer here. <laughs> in the like winter transfer window. Um, there's not too many things I'm looking for. Obviously I'm always looking for a deal. We're just looking for like good young players honestly because we're not going to win the Champions League in our first 
three seasons. <laughs> we could win in our fourth, that's maybe a bit optimistic, but we're looking for 17, 18, 19 year olds who could be top class players at 20. Um, we're not looking to sign 27 year olds who are decent, who are never going to be top class because they're not going to win us the Champions League. Bergvall could win us the Champions League. I will be disappointed if I ever have to replace Bergvall and Nissan. I think they look good enough at 17, 18 to where I can see them being at least very good and like good enough to win us the Champions League uh, with a bit of luck maybe. Olofsson into Abraham, back to Olofsson, back to Borson. I've just realized it's only 15 minutes in, we're <laughs> already 2-0 up. Uh, Haglund, Sangre, Patterson. Not honestly, not an amazing season for Patterson. He's been good. I sense that the role isn't great for him, um, but the way we set up really works for us, and I don't want to I don't want to tinker with one player to give them something that suits them better that's going to, in the long run, hurt the team. So, that's sort of where I'm at. Bergvall in the corner, whips it in. We don't get there. Sandberg Magnuson has it out on the right. Tries to get a cross in. Wait, what? <laughs> he tried to get a cross in, failed, and then just ran away from the ball. Ackerman, out to Abraham. Stops, cuts it back to Olufsen. Six almost got there. Sandberg Magnuson gets it now. Long ball over the top, that is a beautiful ball over. Oh, it's a great goal. That's really what our centre mids are there for. Like, they're there to facilitate and get the ball out to the wings. But basically, I've told them, if you see Seydoux make a run, pick him out. <laughs> That's why at the start of the season I was saying we need a fast striker. Because a lot of this system revolves around picking out the striker if he can make a run. And... Helquist and Vasic didn't really seem like the two that were going to fit into that role. Oh, that was a bit weird. <laughs> I'm I'm going to be interested to see how this works in the Allsvenskan, in the top division. Like, we're very attacking. But we also have a very... Ugh, eight goals this season. He could get ten. We've only got a game and a half left. But we're 4-0 up after 23 minutes. Like, I think we might just be able to keep doing this in the Allsvenskan and win the whole thing. Olofsson, into Brorsen, to Haglund, Sangre, Vestermark, over to Paulsen, misses it, gets it, to Dahlqvist, sort of runs into everyone, Pedersen gets it, boots it out to Vestermark. It's a bit of a weird play, Vestermark to Ackerman. Out to Dahlqvist. Into the box. Pettersson does well, but then gives... Oh, me too. Oh. <laughs> there was a bit of a skirmish in the net. That was not very good goalkeeping. Um, We we know we've got Nwosu coming in. I don't really... Oh, and me too. I don't... Re I don't know if we're going to bring in another goalkeeper. I guess we'll see how he looks when we bring him in. I don't think we need to bring another goalkeeper to play in front of him. We've still got Mitu around next season, which is unfortunate. Um, Olsen's out of contract and I'm not going to renew. Uh, we've renewed most of the players, honestly. We've renewed the whole starting team. Um, anyone else? Sogard is still here. And then a few of them were not out of contract. So the bulk of the squad is still going to be here. But like Vasic is gone. Um... Some other players, probably. <laughs> it's not great from Patterson. Patterson. To Bergvall, to Nissen, to Sandberg, Magnussen. I honestly feel like starting in the second division with this team, this is a great save. Like, this is a fun save. If people, I know a lot of people who do watch also play Football Manager, and then I know that some people that watch have no idea what's going on. A vague idea what's going on. But if you're looking for a save to do in this game, this is a fun one. They have so many good young players, and also excellent youth recruitment. And also you can sign Seydoux Triori because they have a transfer budget at the start. I mean, <laughs> it's just occurred to me that in a few seasons, 
if we like become the best team in the Al Svenskan and start getting into the Champions League, we might be able to sign Xavi Simons, who is currently at PSV. Um, but he's the only player that we've had in both saves so far. We signed him in one of our last seasons at Goal United when he was like 22, maybe. And then we signed him at Claremont early on, and he became a key player in both of those teams. So it would be nice to bring him in again. Also, we're just tearing them apart. Theo Bergvall, bit, bit, bit outplayed by his brother so far. I don't know that Theo's gonna, gonna be a world beater. He's good. He's not as good as Lucas. Ooh, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at him proving me wrong. That was class. Although again, Lucas does have a goal and two assists in the first half. Olofsson into Beercroft. Oh, that was a good ball. Uh, I'm going to give credit to Me Too on that one. I know it just hit the bar, but I feel like he needs some some help. He needs some praise to maybe inspire him. Kosic, what are you doing? <laughs> That's an atrocious pass. It's good defending. Lucas gets it to Patterson. Is he going to look for Seydou? Nope. Theo. Back to Sorgard, to Sandberg Magnussen, to Lucas. Do you know what, Theo? You can tell that Theo's doing well because I'm calling them Theo and Lucas and not uh, <laughs> just Bergvall and... Oh, Theo Bergvall. <laughs> I forget that we have a second Bergvall sometimes, but he did very well on that block, and so I'm giving him a lot of credit. One of the most exciting things going into next season is all of our players who have uh, minimum fee release clauses for teams in the division above that's gone. Like, well, I mean, they're still there, but there is no division above us, so uh, we're immediate... Is it a penalty? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, I... Is Kossage our first choice? I have no idea who our first choice penalty taker is. It shouldn't be Kossage. He's definitely missed at least one that I remember. I feel like it might be two, though. Um, It's going to be exciting just to get those release clauses out of the way, because, like, Nissan is 400,000, I think. Why is nobody activating that? Maybe maybe they can't afford it, but it would absolutely be worth it. Also, that is not very good goalkeeping, but he, he kept it out of the goal, which Mitu did not. Uh, this is going back post. Whoever 14 is, who's 14? They're going to score here. Nissan. No, okay. Hamza. Hamza's been a good loan player. If we can get him back, we might look for it. Um, He's been pretty solid. Yeah, to be honest with you, 6-1... <laughs> Might be a bit more than we deserved, but I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. This is... Okay, well, first of all, let's uh, talk to the team. Uh, comprehensive as it gets. You were brilliant. How did the other teams get on? This is what's exciting right now. Did Daguerre stay in second? They did. They beat Vastaras. Uh, Landskron... Did Landskron not win? Oh, they did. Just... Okay, so they stay within three. So they stay ahead of Orlebro, who drew... Ooh, and Helsingborg's won. So going into the final game, <laughs> Landskrona... Oh, no, Landskrona haven't settled it. Sorry, Digger Fours have not settled it because their goal difference is much worse. So if they lose and Landskrona win, then Landskrona will go into second, which this is the automatic promotion. This is only a playoff match, but these... <laughs> There are a lot of teams still going for this. Who just drew? Was it Ouroboros? Ouroboros have really hurt themselves. Oh, a 93rd minute equalizer against a team that literally have nothing to play for. That hurts. Um, relegations less close. I don't really know what these two positions mean, to be honest. I assume they're also playoff spots. Um, it's, it's somewhat close. This team could still fall in. No, actually, they can't. Not with goal difference. So, these two are in these two spots. I don't know if they're different. 13th or 14th? They seem to be the same. It's worth saying, because I don't think I mentioned it at the start, but I did realize he was here. Is Jonas Eideval is our under-19s manager, and he is the current Arsenal women's manager, who's a person I would obviously have appointed had I realized he was available. But weirdly, they just appointed him... Uh, separately, because there's no women's football in this game, but I think they are introducing it next year. Um, or they've certainly talked about it enough that it sounds like it's coming maybe this year, or like 2024, or maybe the next one. Um, 
But yeah, he's a really good coach for, <laughs> for our under-19s team. Um, I feel like he should be better than this, honestly. Uh, he's done a really good job with Arsenal's women's team. Okay, we've got the same team as last time here, but Jonas Olsen's in because Me Too <laughs> conceded just an awful goal. Yeah, I don't really care if we win or... Actually, I want at least a draw because we're currently on 69 points, which, though nice, is tied for the most ever in the Super Etten. Um, We want the most ever, so at least a draw, please. Other than that, I don't really care. I'm excited to see what happens below us. And we have a corner for ourselves. Whipped in, out to Leech Hall. We haven't seen a goal from... <laughs> What's happening? How is that a penalty? Wait, I was just about to say we haven't seen a goal from either of our keepers yet. <laughs> this, is, this is so insulting to the opposition manager. And honestly, I deserve that. <laughs> that is unbelievably insulting. And Olsen, what are you doing? You gotta score those. I don't, this is a weird highlight. Back to Abramson. Sandberg Magnuson. Takes a touch out to Bergwald. Bergwald get, looks up, gets Pettersson in a bit. Saidu to Kosic. He wanted a goal from the penalty. We took it away from him. <laughs> He's got one from open play. Lovely finish. I will say, uh, Saidu's not been much for the assist. Saidu's mostly the goal scorer, but that's a lovely little ball in there. Um, I'm pretty sure as of now, we have the top three spots in the assist table and the average rating table, plus the top scorer, obviously, but we don't have second and third there. Roman on the free kick. Chips one out, one by Christopherson. Christopher, Christopherson, what is happening in my brain? Olsen. Out to Abramson. Boots one across to Kristnall off the bench. Lovely touch. Turns back, finds Nissen. Back to Kristnall, got a bit more space now, but he turns back to Nissen. <laughs> Nissen is just determined for Crystal to get past his man, and he does, to Kosic. Across to Seydou, I mean, it wouldn't be a game without a Seydou Traore goal. 31, 32 on the season? I don't even know. An insane number of goals. Um, I did see a, a thing saying that his form warrants an Ivory Coast call-up, and honestly, I kind of agree. So, a comfortable win to end the season, a clean sheet, which have actually been... Fairly rare, and now let us see how things finished. Landskrona hold on, wow. Bad finish for Helsingborgs and Orobro, both of whom lost, I think? Oh, Orobro. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, and they lost They lost to two of the worst teams in the league. Oh, Troll hadn't actually finished okay. But losing 6-0 to Sandvikens? Oh, God. God, that's so bad. Aura, bro, what happened? I mean, even if they'd won, they can take something from that. Even if they had won, it wouldn't have been enough because Landskrona got a last minute goal. Well, not last minute, but very late goal. But Jesus, 6 0 against Sandvikens? That's embarrassing. Oh, God. It got very close by the end. Nissan finishes with an average rating of 7.47 to Seydou Traore 7.46. And Lucas Bergball third. There's, oh my god, actually, 18 year old Frederick Nissan, the centre back. 18 year old Seydou Traore, the striker. And 17 year old Lucas Bergball, the three best players in the division. If that doesn't tell you where this team is going, nothing will. And assists table. <laughs> Not even just the top three, the top four. We were one assist away from having the top five with Krusnud as well. Okay, the whole team has headed off on holiday, so we will be back for the start of next season. I don't know if we'll do the first... Yeah, we'll probably do the first few games of next season. So, um, also, I think I'm out of the cup, right? So they won't be Svenska Kuppen games because I lost 6-5 <laughs> to Eskilstuna. So, uh, I don't think we're going to have Svenska Cup and games at the start of next season. Because, oh, we can check this. So, yeah, they won in the Svenska Cup and second round. We did not, so we won't even have the Cup games. So, we should have a clear preseason. Come back for the start of the league. And, yeah, hopefully next season we go on and win the Allsvenskan. That's the goal. At the very least, top three. If we get relegated, <laughs> we start again. We We... 
build from the uh, Super Atom. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and goodbye.